darling friends welcome back to my youtube channel in case you are new here and you don't know if you don't know now you know my name is Foy and i'm gonna be your youtuber for the day and today i'm gonna be doing as the title suggests a shein shane shein i've heard it's shein anywhom haul and review so if you want to know the lowdown on pricing customs delivery time and just see what the items i bought look like on me then just keep watching but before we go anywhere I'm going to need you guys to subscribe. I'm going to need you to hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment. Let me know if you have shopped from Shein before, what was your experience, what you expected, what you got, and if you were happy with their service and stuff like that. So let's get into this video. Okay, so I mentioned on Twitter that I was going to order from Shein and a lot of people were like, y'all, you need to tell me what the tea is because I'm so nervous. I need to know what the sizing is like. I need to know if there's customs, shipping, how long it takes. Like, it, the experiences vary so obviously my experience is my experience I can only speak to the order that I have placed I've only made one order with them and I can only speak to the experience I've had for that order I know that they can generally be quite inconsistent though so take everything I say with a grain of salt you just use your discretion use your discernment assert your rights know your rights as a consumer and assert them and let's just let's let's be hot in 2021 let's just cut the jibber jabber and let's just be hot okay cool so on the 3rd of january i placed my order for my items and i ordered a bunch of stuff i'll get into the details of everything that i ordered as well as a cost breakdown and all that stuff but i'm just going to give you a general overview to start i placed my order on the 3rd of january they told me that it was only going to arrive by the 16th to the 19th of february so straight off the bat they managed my expectations i did not expect to be doing this video this soon matter of fact i, I received my items a few weeks ago but i was actually in Joburg at the time because i did not expect them to arrive yet so i was very very impressed by the fact that i was supposed to receive my items next week next next week on the 16th to the 19th of feb but i received my order on the 15th of january so i got my order in exactly 12 days delivered to my door using Aramex and that is also in and of itself a magical fee because I've heard terrible things about international delivery from Aramex so I was super super impressed that I got my order in 12 days. How much did I pay? I bought 11 items and the total for those items was 1485 Rand, flat no change and I paid in customs, absolute zilch, nothing, nada, zero. Right before I ordered, someone told me that if you place an order under 1,500 Rand, you don't pay customs. And I was just like, what do I have to lose? I budgeted some money for customs, but I was surprised as day when I had to pay absolutely nothing. And a friend of mine, she ordered and received her order at the beginning of the year or something like that. Hers took a month or so to get here and she had to pay like 500 rand customs on like a 2300 rand order so if you do have to pay customs i think that is like the realm of possibility or the realm of realism on how much you're actually going to pay it's not like it's not or from what i've seen from the people who have paid customs on Shein orders it's not your usual you end up paying double or end up triple by the end of it you know calculation you end up paying just about like three four five hundred rand or so on like a high value order so it does suck it is a lot it is an extra expense but personally as for me and my household i have to pay a exam thing and we thank god for small mercies we're not going to ask questions about it we're not going to ask how they came to that conclusion it's none of my business to be honest i don't need to know we just gonna keep it moving i paid 370 rand for shipping so my order itself was 1485 and then 370 rand for shipping and then i paid an additional 14 rand for um buyer protection and the reason why i bought it is because it's like a type of protection where if your order takes super super long in the mail and eventually gets lost or whatever they're gonna send it again or they're gonna refund you so i was just like 
Oxalayo and getting my stuff and that's all that matters and I just want to make sure because the post office like I've been really really scared to order international items or worry about the post office and customs especially during COVID it's a bloody nightmare love on a normal day so during COVID I've been extra scared so I was like let me get the insurance just in case I don't know what difference that made I don't know if it helped or not but it was 14 rand and I'm glad I got it just in case because I paid over 990 rand I got a 10% discount so I got 149 rand off of my order so the thing that I wanted to check is that do they, when they said you don't pay customs if it's over one five do they mean order value the pre-sale value or do they mean like including shipping and stuff so excluding shipping my order was one four eight five didn't pay customs so take with that what you will so in total i paid 1720 rand using my credit card and i think that is an important distinction because if you have watched von guy's video you've seen with her experience she used her normal check debit card and they double debited her so they took the money twice and she went through hell high water for months trying to get her money back proving statements going to the bank talking to she and da -da -da -da. it was a bloody nightmare love and eventually she did get her money back but like that is just a nightmare experience so her warning to you was just if you're gonna buy on Shein, don't have other money in your account um because if it double debits it's it's a mess to get it back so what i do especially for international purchases is i use my credit card and the reason why i use my credit card is because they have like some sort of built-in protection with them and if fraudulent things happen or you've been scammed or they don't want to do like fulfill their order or things go wrong it's so much easier to recoup the cost of a from a credit card than it is a debit card because a credit card is effectively not your money so the bank the bank fights a little harder with more quickness to get it back i don't know but for international shopping um even for online purchases i just prefer to use my credit card because i feel a lot safer in the event that something goes wrong another alternative is to use paypal but the thing about paypal their rates are redonkulous so you end up paying a lot more because of the exchange rate and they also cash in a cut and another reason why i didn't want to use paypal now i'm not even sure if paypal was another way to pay is because shein is in rands <laughs> like um shein is trying to get into the south african market a lot so like um, a lot of other vendors they've started to put their websites in rands so you can see everything already in rand conversions and when you put that back into dollars and then pay via paypal you end up paying way more for your item than if you were to just pay with a credit card using rands so if you are anti-credit I understand completely we're really like a credit risk society but I do recommend having a credit card it helps with big purchases obviously the rewards and blah 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 but more importantly if you like to online shop it just gives you an added layer of security so let's get into the stuff that I bought I got 11 items and they sent me a free gift so I'm going to show you the item and I'm going to cut to a clip of me wearing it so that you can see what it looks like reality versus you know the 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 expectations you get me um all i can say is off the bat generally i am very happy and satisfied with what i got the things that didn't go well were things that i were taking a gap that i was taking a gamble on anyway the things that i were unsure of and they didn't not meet my expectations in like a, cat a catastrophic way they didn't meet my expectations in the exact way that i didn't think they would meet my expectations if that makes sense um there were like one or two things i was pleasantly surprised with but overall i'm very happy with my experience and you know what let's get into the breakdown so as mentioned i got 11 items i got three pairs of sunglasses you know me i love me a sunglass child two accessories one pair of pants one skirt one jacket two crop tops and one two-piece i'm wearing one of the crop tops now that shows i like it but i'm actually in the app just gonna go through my order and i'm gonna just go through like the list of what i got so i'm gonna show you tell you the prices and then obviously i got a discount so the discount price and in my previous pretty little thing haul because i paid so much in shipping and customs i added the customs charge divided across all of the items so you can get like a total price because i didn't pay customs i'm going to exclude that from the calculation and i'm not going to divide the shipping cost onto the stuff the shipping was generally what like 20 dollars so it was another items worth it is a lot of money but like it's not enough that i'm gonna factor that in mind in my calculation of my items if you get what i mean so i got a pair of pants this is the the rouged slit hem leather look pants I got this because I was suddenly feeling on my Sneem Klongo and I was just like, let me just buy something super high trained, super fashion, uh, what? 
let me just you know try myself out let me just explore um and those pants were 276 rand and after the discount i paid 249 rand and i bought them in a size xl so here's the thing with the shein sizing it is chinese everything is from everything is from china but these are chinese sizes if you've bought from an instagram boutique you know what chinese sizes are they are like they just say whatever but the one thing i really really like about shein is that they put the product details in the description all right like when you click the sizes they put the measurements because not every small is created equal not every medium is the same not every large is the same so when they say large on this particular item they mean length 100 centimeter hip 100 centimeter blah blah like they've been very explicitly clear on every single item they are clear on what the measurements are and i prefer that personally because i am very transitional in my in my size right now not only like i'm a between sizes but it's just like an awkward size to be in my body proportions are also a bit like odd so i really like knowing the exact measurements of an item because then i can see what is it gonna fit like on me my mother has critiqued my measurement skills because i did definitely get one of these items wrong but that's my fault i'll take the l it is what it is charge it to the game so i got because of the measurements on the website so follow the measurements that's my tip to you follow the measurements on each item don't just be like i'm a small so i'm a small everywhere no you may be a medium you may be a large depending on the item they may not have your size but they do have curve and a lot of these things do go into like an xl some of them go into like a quadruple xl some of them go into like a double xs so just read the measurements to understand your size so for these pants i got a uh, xl and weird cut aside they have like a weird fit around like the hip um the the hip crotch area but like beyond that which is kind of like not noticeable if you're not paying attention i'm kind of into it like it did say leather look and in the pictures they look much more leathery than they are they are very much plastic they are and you cool i was surprised by that they're super super thin super super lightweight so they're not like quality items they're literally a trend you get your instagram picture you keep it moving and yeah like they fit pretty okay they're super high-waisted which i love super long i love how long they are oh my hat they sweep the floor i think they're so stunning and i cannot wait to style them i actually bought them with another item that i purchased in mind um so let's go straight to that this is the backless knotted zebra striped crop top i'm pretty sure you've seen something similar to it on instagram thus far and i'm obsessed with it like one thing about me especially during lockdown especially during lockdown i don't want to wear a bra where, where am i going why am i wearing a bra even if i am going somewhere why am i wearing a bra you know there's no need abolish so i'm really into these like crop tops and just tops that you don't have to wear a bra with so this backless one i thought was really really cute i it cost 120 rand i paid 108 and i bought the size l and it fits me perfectly it is such a good fit like I got a bit worried about a tinge of side boob but like i really don't think it's such an issue especially depending on how you tie the top itself and it's just it's so cute i love it and the fabric is so much nicer than i expected it's like i don't want to say like a i don't want to say cashmere i don't want to say suede but it's that kind of like luxurious like ooh, this is like nice like it feels good to the touch like it's a nice i thought it was just gonna be like a cotton or whatever top and it actually just feels really nice um so i'm super happy with this purchase really good price good sizing like my standard size is an l and i'm just i'm very happy with it the next top i bought is this top that i'm wearing now it is the let the lettuce trim crop tank top it cost 56 rand and i paid 51 rand and i got an xl in it according to the sizes super happy with this crop top love it love it love it it is thin but not necessarily like thin in that it's transparent it's just like a very thin lightweight material and like it's just such a cute top like these tops are super trendy it's 50 rand like it was a steal i'm super happy with that purchase next up is the not back crop top and flare leg pants set so this two piece is 262 rand i got it for 236 rand and i bought the size l and this is the only item i regret buying because it did not fit me how i expected it to fit the top is perfectly cute perfectly fine but the pants child i have bought a pair of red pants exactly like this a, a red set actually from a local retailer and they fit the exact same way which is that they don't fit me like they just they are just I thought they were gonna be like a wide leg like material these are like a spandex so they just hug and then they they come up high enough but then they because they just spandex they just stomach is stomaching i'm just i'm just not 
I'm not happy with how it looks on me personally, but the real problem, like I could have forgiven the stomach area, you know, like I could have worn Spanx or whatever, but the real issue is that it's too short. So for this particular style, I personally think, especially with the stomach area waistband doing what it is, it needs to drag the floor, it needs to clean the floor. You guys have seen me in my pretty little thing pants. That Those are the pants that I was expecting, especially from the picture, that is kind of what I thought I was getting. Not at all. If you have like a curvy shape, or like, yeah, if you're just more shapely, I think this set would look much better on you. I'm very boxy and I have a fupa, so like it just, it's not flattering at all for me, but the crop top is really nice. And I was 230 rand, so I'm not the most mad at it, but I may just sell it on Yaga or something. <laughs> Next up is this plaid panel dual pocket corduroy jacket. It costs 366 rand and I paid 325 rand and I got it in a size XL. Or 1XL. Yeah, that's just XL. It's not double it. Yeah, 1XL. This was maybe one of my favorite purchases. And it's also the one that was like super disappointing in quality at the same time. So this jacket, like it's a crop jacket type. And it's just, it's so cute. And looked really nice in the picture. It's the most expensive item that I picked up. And um, because it is a jacket. And I love it. I love how it looks. I love how it, like it sits on me. But the one thing that I did notice is that it's so thin. It's more of like like a corduroy shirt than it is like a jacket like if you had to wear it in winter you would not be warm type of thing it's like yeah it's a really nice transitional item so for autumn springtime what we're going into where you just need to carry a light jacket it's absolutely perfect but if you're expecting like a corduroy thick jacket it's not that so definitely just like manage your expectations in terms of that but otherwise i think it's perfectly fine i'm really happy with it i think it looks Stunning, it's so cute, I cannot wait to wear it. The next one is a rouged drawstring asymmetrical hem with tie-dye skirt that costs 162 Rand and I paid 124 and I got this in a size XL. I think this is just a super cute errand skirt, like that's literally what it is. It's a beach skirt, it's an errand skirt, it's a casual wear with a crop top, tank top, whatever, like t-shirt. Like it's just super basic, but that like slit and the tie I think is a really nice detail. It's really trendy right now. So I was just like, let me try it. I'm not really a huge skirt person actually. So I was like, let me just buy a skirt. And I think it looks really, really nice on me. Like it's it's cute. It's very cute. I'm very happy with it. Expectations reality met stunning. So yeah, those are all the clothes that I bought and now let's get into the accessories and stuff like that. I just hope you guys know that I literally, I got back like a, over a week ago. All of the Shein stuff has just been sitting in my room in the packet because I've been waiting to film this video. I've not been enjoying my best life at all my stuff because I've been waiting to do this first impressions review type thing for you guys. Anywho, so this is the free gift that they gave me. It's just a little coin purse that says Shein on it. It's cute, like it was... It was free so I said yes because it's free. The other thing that I bought specifically with this hairstyle in mind is a whole bunch of these rings. It was dirt cheap. It was 13 rand. I paid 12 rand and they're just little hair accessories. I'm very happy with that purchase. It was cheaper than I'd probably get it in a beauty supply store. I don't think I think it would probably be like 20 rand or 30 rand for that many. Actually I feel like it could be like 30 rand. I don't know. Um, so I'm happy with that. Let me get into my sunglasses. And I'm really happy with the sunglasses, actually. They come in, they come in a plastic like this, and a case, a proper case. It says Shein on it. So like, it's a, it's a case. Like, I'm used to buying cheap sunglasses, no case, nothing. Like, you get like a little sucky. This is a case, and then even inside, they're in the plastic. The environmental sustainability, a questionable aside. So I bought these tortoise shell glasses mostly because um i bought an exact pair like this from the fix i wore them out once and i lost them and i really liked them so i was just like i'm gonna get them again because i went back to the fix and i couldn't find them so i was like i'm looking for them and i'm gonna find them so these were 74 rand i paid 67 rand the ones from the fix were 70 rand so it's all good and they are so cute i'm such a fan love 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 i'm so happy there's also a little um cloth to wipe the lenses so that is pair number one I can also um, show you guys these chains these are basically accessories for your sunglasses like chains to keep them on they're very cute I also bought this from the fix with those sunglasses and I broke slash lost them on the exact same day that I wore them for the first time so I bought more and I think these are really cute because they're like different designs one is like the beads and then the other one is like this link and I think that's so so cute this was 37 rand I paid 34 rand and it was a two pack and I'm like that's a that's a good ass deal like that is a good deal 
the NYX sunglasses because I had a black pair. Like, this is basically the other pair of sunglasses, but in black. But they're slightly thicker, so they're a bit different. I'm not sure if you guys had seen. I had a pair like this similar from Mr. Price. Um, and what did they do? They broke. So I had to replace them because I really like them. I really like this frame on me. I think it just looks so cute. Very 90s chic. This was 71 Rand and I paid 64. And I just think so cute. I love this style on me. And then the last item that I bought, the last pair of sunglasses, I love these especially. There's a particular reason that I love these so much because in my time on this earth, I have spent some time or seen my, my fellow brethren, the Yahoo boys, enjoying life, chopping money, even just rich people in general, in these Louis Vuitton millionaire sunglasses. And even me, I want, but am I a millionaire to buy Louis Vuitton sunglasses? No. So what am I gonna do? Get them from Shein. So they are pretty similar in design, not identical obviously, and they were 73 Rand and I got them for 66 Rand. They're basically the millionaire sunglasses, they're just not as reflective, but honestly, I'll take it. Like, you can't tell. Who's gonna know? So yeah, that is my Shein haul. Those are all the things that I bought. That's what they look like. That was my experience shopping with them. Let me know if you shop with them, how you feel, how your experience was. If you like your items, if you're going to do it again, I'm going to do it again pretty much. Let me know if there's other stores to check out. I want to do more of these haul type things. I love doing them. I just need the, you know what I'm saying? But I do look forward to doing more of them this year. So let me know your thoughts. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I will check you guys in the next video.